Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my geeky compadres, what's going on? Uh, this is going to be, as it has been the last couple Fridays, um, the my lightning round reviews as well as a little trade haul. So um, I guess we'll just get going. Okay, first I'll show you the, the trades I got today. Um, I ended up going to Second and Charles today and turning in a whole bunch of stuff, like just a bunch of CDs really, and um, ended up getting quite a bit of money back. Uh, actually, it was like $62 I got back, uh, and that was in cash. I could have got 120 in trade-in, but when it hits that point, like over $50, I start thinking to myself, like, I could use that for an in-stock trades order. As opposed to the 120 being for some stuff I might find eventually, you know what I mean? So I, I opted for the cash. Uh, but I did end up buying a book there. Um, so I picked up uh, League of Extraordinary, Extraordinary Gentlemen, uh, Volume 1. Um, I saw the movie with Sean Connery in it like years ago. And I thought it was interesting, but I, I think I remember like thinking the movie could have been more... And now, like, I can read what it was supposed to be like. Uh, so, really excited to read that. And then the other book I got in today was actually a mistake. <laughs> uh, this is House of Mystery, Volume 5. Um, I already talked to the seller. I, I bought it on eBay. Actually, I bought Volume 2 on eBay. Um, volume 2 is extremely out of print. It's really hard to find and rather expensive. Uh, but I ended up getting it for like 20 bucks and uh was really excited because i was watching the tracking and it was supposed to come in today got the package opened it up and saw it was the wrong one um and i thought to myself like i am not about to pay 20 dollars for this when i can go to in stock and get it for eight uh so i emailed the guy real quick being like is there any way you can remedy this problem and uh he actually emailed me back within like half an hour or an hour, something like that, and he was like, oh man, really, really sorry, uh, I just checked my pile, and yep, I have volume two, this is supposed to go out, I'll get it sent out to you as soon as possible, and um, if, you, if you got volume five already, just go ahead and keep it, uh, or, or give it to somebody that's already read it, so, um, yeah, so now I have volume five, and volume two will be on the way, and I, I actually can't wait to read volume two, um, so yeah, and then I got, I put an in stock trades order in already. So, uh, really excited to get those books. Now, let's jump into the extremely disappointing lightning round reviews for the week. Uh, first, we have The Wake, issue 10, the finale, the not so grand finale. It was terrible. Uh, I am really, really disappointed with this second half of the story um i wish that they would have just stopped at issue five uh because at that point it was awesome um issues six through ten were horrendous i thought it was terrible and uh like i said th this is no exception it was really not great it wasn't then we have east of west issue 14 um I'm trying to remember what happened. This is the first time I'm going to say it about this book. I don't think I was overly excited about it. I think... We saw one pretty cool thing. But overall, it just wasn't much of anything. This was like a building issue. Uh, which, you know... East of West, every issue is continuously building to something else. And, I don't know, Just this one just didn't excite me, really. Not that I remember. Anyway, that's East of West, number 14. We have Outcast, issue 2. Um, before I even opened this book, I couldn't even remember what happened in issue 1. Eventually, I did remember that it was about this guy um, who, like, 
the demon is possessing different people in his life and he's trying to perform exorcisms or whatever. Um, this issue did not do it for me. Uh, I'm going to be dropping this book and uh, most likely selling the first two issues. Eventually when you know people start freaking out more because it's a Kirkman book, um, I don't know, just wasn't impressive. Then we have Bodies, issue one. Um, when I read the little thing, the little thing in uh, the Vertigo little preview thing they had, like I think it was last week, um, it seemed really interesting. Um, so I decided to pick it up. It takes place in four different periods of time, um, and like these people are getting killed with by a person with the same M.O. Um, you don't necessarily really get that from this first issue. And I'm just not sure if I'm going to stick with it. Uh, I believe it's an eight-part miniseries. Yeah, one of eight, it says down there. Um, this might be something i trade weight. But it was pretty cool. I mean, um, each of the four periods has a different artist on it, uh, which made it kind of fun. And, uh, it, it was kind of interesting. I just don't know, I don't know if I'll keep up with it. I might, it depends on the week that it comes out, but I'm kind of cutting down my pull list quite a bit now, so this might definitely be something I cut. It's, it's on the shopping block for sure. And then we have the last book that I picked up this week, Baltimore, uh, The Witch of Harju. Now uh, this is issue one of three. Um, this was actually the book I liked the most this week, um, because, let's be honest, the rest of them were not impressive at all. Um, I love Baltimore, the character. Uh, you know, I read the first trade. I was, oh man, what was it called? Shit, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, that one was really good, so it led me to, to pick this up. Um, this one, I didn't get the same feeling from it as I did the first trade that I read, but again, this is only the first issue. The only thing that I'm concerned about is that they won't be able to give it a really good story in just three issues. Um, so that, that kind of concerns me, but I'm going to pick this one up for sure because, again, it's only three issues. Uh, and I love the Baltimore character. Um, I know there's some other stories between the first trade and this one that came out. I just got to find them. Um, I don't think they're in paperback. I think they're just in hardcover. But if I can find them somewhere, I'll, I'll definitely pick them up. But uh, Baltimore is one of my one of my like new favorite characters. He's just awesome. Um, and that's it. Those are my reviews for the week. They just kind of sucked. Yeah. So, um, that's it, I guess. I have a couple, uh, trade, re trade reviews that I'm gonna edit and get all that done. I'm sorry about the, uh, not putting the Twitter posts that I put in my videos, usually on my lightning round reviews. I just don't feel like it today. And really, you wouldn't have gotten much out of them anyway. I think the the tweet I posted for The Wake was dot 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 meh dot dot dot. So really, nothing profound there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.